Shalom, my friends. How is everyone doing today? I was wanting to elaborate on two scriptures that I have written here today and what's in them and who it may point to. The first one is here is Psalms 9, 9 through 10. And it reads, The Lord also be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, for thou, Lord, hast not forsaken them that seek thee. And I want you to notice here something. And it's talking about the Lord. And it says, they that know thy name. How many people truly know his name? And then go to Isaiah 42, 8. Isaiah 42, 8. And it reads, I am the Lord, that is my name and my glory. I am the Lord, that is my name. Well, when you read this in most translations, it says the Lord. And that is not his name. That's a, a title, a respectful title, like sir or ma'am. Um, but whatever time you see Lord in capital letters in our Bibles, that right there is referring to this right here, the yud heh bah -Hey. And that is Yahweh. It's not Jehovah. I know, our, our, I know our, uh, most of our Bibles has a, a translation of Jehovah. Um, I really don't follow that one. I think it's a very poor translation. And um, I would never call him that once I found out what Jehovah or Yehovah means. So you'll never hear me call him that. And if anybody wants to know um, uh, a further detail on it, uh, ask me a question down in the comment section and I'll, I'll get back with you um, as soon as possible. All right. And I'll show you why I call him Yahweh. Or, or, and most of your the Jews that I have talked to uh, will say Yahweh is his name. It could either be Yahweh or Yahweh. But um, for most of them will say Yahweh because uh, that right here, the Wa, uh, has a W sound. Starting with, the Hebrew is read from right to left. Starting with the, the Yud, this is the tenth letter right here, Yud. It has a Y sound. The next one is a He. It's the fifth letter. It has a H sound. So it has a capital H. The third one over is a Vav. Now the Vav can have two sounds to it. It can have uh, right here I got it is a Vav or a Wa. All depends what time it was. Um, um, the letter is spoken in the translation in the time of like say Moses. Um, uh, back then it would probably have been a Wa sound. Then of course, then of course we have a He again, which is the fifth letter and it has a Ha huh sound. Now let's flip everything around here where this Y will be over to here. The H is right here. The W is right here. And the H again. I think this is the holy name of the Lord right here. Really, it's, it's, it's just beautiful. What? So I think this is where we get Yahweh. All right? And actually, probably everyone here has probably said his name and not really realized you're saying it, Yah. And Yah, when you say hallelujah, you never notice it's spelled with a J, but you pronounce it with a Y. Hallelujah. Yah is actually the short form, the short form of Yahweh. And uh, Yah is used in uh, Psalm 68.4. And... And there, in the King James, it says it'll have it with a J. The J is a relatively new letter in our uh, alphabet. It came around in the uh, uh, 1680s, uh, 1680, uh, around that time, uh, with the translation of the King James Bible. Before that, there was no J's. They'd always use a, an I or a, a Y sound. So, naturally, right here, Yah, I had a Jewish friend show me this. The letter is Yah.
You know what that spells? When it talks about Yah? You are holy. I think that right there says it. Yahweh is holy. He's set apart from everybody else. Alright? Now, with this being said, I think that's just kind of interesting. Now, with this being said here, I want to point, I want three witnesses here, or three examples, where, where in the original Hebrew, I want to show you where there's three examples, or I call three witnesses, that point that Yahweh is Yeshua HaMashiach, or Jesus Christ. And, and I'll use the Hebrew alphabet here. The first one is, and I love the Hebrew alphabet, because it's actually a poetic language. And uh, it's just very, it's alphanumeric. All three languages of the Bible are alphanumeric. Your Greek, your Hebrew, and Ar uh, Aramaic is all alphanumeric, which means that they're, each of their letters are also their number system. So you can go from a left all the way down to uh, to Yud, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10. Then from there, from the Kof to 20, it goes into 10 increments all the way down till it hits the Kuf, which goes 100, 200, 300, 400. That is actually, your whole Bible is full of numbers because it was originally written in Hebrew and Aramaic and Greek. And they're all, it's just basically, you can look it up in numbers. With that being said, I want you to see something really fascinating here. And each Hebrew letter also has, can have a symbol or a word attached to it. And like um, a left, which is the first letter, can have God or leader to it. Uh, bet can have house attached to it. And, and so on. Uh, camel for, or for gimel, dalet, door. So with that being said, I want to bring each one of these down again. The Yud starting with the Yud. And look what it has a picture of. It's a picture. We're going to just look at the picture side. It's a picture of a closed hand. A closed hand. And actually you could probably even see it. It kind of looks like a closed hand. But I'm just going to put down hand right now for a um, limited space. But I'm going to put down hand. The next one is the hay. Right here. It basically means to behold or to watch. The third one here is the is the wa or the bob, and its symbol picture is a nail. And again, the hay again comes down, and it means behold. So with these three, with these four letters here, you have just with the Hebrew, with the symbol pictures on there, it has, it has, hand behold, hand behold, nail behold. Who's that picture of? Who else in the Bible is the picture of a hand and a nail, and a nail? It's Jesus Christ. You have the first example is just with the picture language, up from the Hebrew. You have hand behold, nail behold. It's the picture of Jesus Christ. The next one is, and that's the first witness, the first example. The next one is, we're going to use the number system here. Starting with the, the Yud. Starting with the Yud. Now the Yud is what? It's the tenth letter. This is really fascinating. The He is the fifth letter. The Vav or the Wa is the sixth letter. And again, you already know the He is the fifth letter. Now, if you take all these numbers here and add them up, what do you get? You get 26. Now this is actually what I'm doing is biblical and you can go in Revelations where John uh, 
in there in, in the book of Revelations tells uh, he says to calculate the number of the beast, which is six hundred and sixty six, or we get six six six. I mean, so it's a it's a common Jewish practice back then, and I think they still do it today. But you have twenty six here. So what's really fascinating about twenty six to Yahweh? All right, look at twenty six. Take it back to the original Hebrew. The twenty. You go down through here, find the twenty. It's a cough. It's a cough. The 20 is a, is a cough. The 6 is the Bob or a Wah. And now, let's look at the picture language. What is a cough? Here is the cough, the 20th letter. It's a picture of an open hand. Now it's an open hand. First was a closed hand, now it's an open hand. And again, what's the Vav, the sixth letter? Is a nail. So you have, in the name of the Lord, using just the, uh, the numbers here, the number system, when you do it and you add it up, you come up with a, uh, the 26, you have a, a cough, the 20, and the six, a nail. You have an open hand and a nail. And again, who is that in the Bible? There's only one in the Bible that, uh, that I know of, I can, that I know of, that uh, is a picture of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. And what's funny is, this cough, this is actually a word right here. This is actually a word. The word is... Kav. And Kav means to pierce. It means to pierce. Is, I mean, is this an accident? No. So it means to pierce. And again, all of this points to Jesus. Okay, that's our second witness or our second example. And here's our third and final one, and we're about done. Uh, if you watched uh, in my, uh, one of my previous uh, um, videos, we've talked about where in the Hebrew language, a lot of the Hebrew words, they'll have a root word, which means it's foundation. Yahweh, Yahweh here has three root words. The first one is, Is ho way, which means is okay. That's a root word. You can see where the hey actually it's the last three letters here. Ho way. You hear that way. the The second one is the second root is. Now the second one in here is Haya. Ha ya. Now you see here's the ya. See we're following the ya. It's Haya. And it means and it means um was. I lost my place there. Was. Now the third root word is Kind of hard to do it. I'm going from left to right. Is Yah Yah. And Yah Yah means and Yah my Yah means is will be or is to come. Now if you look right here you have in the name of Yahweh, you have you have a cap that won't come off. You have the present. You have the 
past and the future. In the name of Yahweh, you have the three root words, which is all parts of a, a time. Okay? Now, with that being said, where can you find this in Scripture? I'll show you. Go to Revelations, the book of Revelations, 1, 8. Revelations 1, 8. Now, this is Jesus talking because I got red letter edition. But Jesus says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, saith the Lord, in which is, in which was, and which is to come, which will be, or is to come. So right there in the three root words, which is, to was, and which is to come, Jesus says he is all of them. And it points again to Jesus being Yahweh. There's your three witnesses, your three examples. Um, I hope you found this um, interesting and enlightening as much as I do. Um, I find this really fascinating. I mean, once you get back into the original Hebrew, your Bible opens up. I mean, it, it just flourishes, and it's amazing. Um, I pray you all have a good day, and shalom.